<laughs> Yo, so good to be back on the air. So it's Asia, and I'm back with our first video for May. So first, a quick recap. So Wild Forest, uh, their play to airdrop season just concluded. So congratulations to the top 4,000 players on winning guaranteed Wild Forest tokens. And with that in mind, this video is actually about two other play to airdrop opportunities in Web3 Gaming that I am personally looking into. So. For this video, I will give you the close out for Wild Forest as well as the two other games that I think you should keep your eyes on aside from Wild Forest. And also, if you have watched my previous content on this channel, you might remember Aperon. So, Aperon is also an extremely good game. We are offering up to 150 scholarships slash planets in Aperon. So, if you want to farm APRS and climb the leaderboards but don't have the budget to buy strong planets, uh, hop in Discord server, uh, in Daurex Discord server, sorry in the description below to request a scholarship and with that out of the way, let's dive right in. So Wild Forest has recently concluded their first play to airdrop season so players are just excited right now and kind of waiting for their Wild Forest tokens. However, that doesn't mean that you should just stop playing Wild Forest. I highly suggest that at the very least you should still be doing your 3 daily wins in Wild Forest to get your free battle pass as soon as possible because they recently patched it to 15 days to claim just an FYI and you really need the battle pass to have a chance to actually compete in the leaderboards in the coming seasons because you really need the units trust me and the battle pass lets you get tons of chests for unit cards and upgrade shards so yeah, it's very straightforward it's very simple and it's not really that hard to do it's literally three wins daily so the first game that should be on your radar is battle rise so what is battle rise so battle rise is a mobile game available on google play and apple store they're what you call a web 2.5 game because the actual game is not dependent on web 3 you don't need to connect a wallet just start playing for example and there's no need for transaction signatures and gas fees like web 3 games usually do so Battle Rise is described as a mid-core battler with hero collection mechanics and a turn-based battle system. This really hits me right in the nostalgia from games back in 2013 or something like Hello Hero. If you enjoyed the same hero collection mechanics from that or in Genshin Impact for example, you'd absolutely love this game. So what I especially like about this game is it nails the important concept of accessibility when it comes to Web3 games. This is the future mobile gaming and accessibility as in I don't have to know how to set up a metamask. I don't have to take a 3-point lecture first on what the safety and all that stuff first just because I can test out and play the game to see if I like it. So basically you play Battle Rise, you go through Dungeon Runs which is the PvE bread and butter mode where you go through levels and make choices on what rooms and actions you take where every scenario has corresponding results and consequences. So you get shards, equipment, upgrade your heroes, so eventually compete in the PvP mode which has a leaderboard for corresponding rewards. Which brings us to their airdrop mechanics for battle, their upcoming token. So, you can start playing battle rise and climb the leaderboards for a hefty reward in battle distributed to people in the top 500 spots. And also, you can get battle at a rate of 10 per token just by participating in their Zili campaign, which is linked in the description below as well. So, the next game that I have eyes on right now is, of course, none other than Illuvium. So, they have launched their private beta for their $25 million airdrop campaign, giving away a hefty 20,000 ILV exclusively to the private beta or PV4 participants. So, if you're watching this video and weren't lucky enough to be selected for the beta, but make sure that you've checked your spam folder actually. The email in our experience tends to get sent to spam. It's not over for you because this is just the warm-up round, kumbaga. Uh, Illuvium is opening up their open beta on May 28th where everyone can participate and start stacking those airdrop points. So, like I said, it's $25 million worth of tokens which is easily one off if not the biggest actual raise and airdrop in 2024 and in recent years even. So, just recently, Illuvium has even managed to secure extremely high-profile partnerships including Stepen, which is the most recent right now, and as well as Samsung, which was announced last year sometime, or last month, sorry. Uh, Illuvium has been cooking for quite a while now, and the fact that they're able to pull off these partnerships with Fortune 500 brands like Samsung is testament to how great their team and founders is. So, how does the actual gameplay work for this play to airdrop? So, the main games that is up right now for PB4 is Overworld and Arena. So, obviously this might change for Open Mainnet in May 28th, but for now this is the case. So, how this works is that all of the games in Illuvium's ecosystem and their resources are codependent on each other. The other game which is ex excluded in this closed beta is just Illuvium Zero, which is 
the game where people can farm the gas resources used in Illuvium Overworld's crafting and actually just being able to outright travel. So it's that necessary, it's that important. For PB4, they disabled this uh, need for now by allowing people to claim testnet eat to spend on testnet versions of these gas resources from Illuvium Zero. But as soon as now we're able to kind of see how the vision for Illuvium looks like and honestly I'm done for it. The gameplay of Overworld implements elements from Illuvium Arena as well, is dependent on Illuvium Zero to function and will most likely implement features from Illuvium Beyond as well. So. Don't worry because I will be posting an in-depth dedicated video for Illuvium Overworld in the coming days here on YouTube, so subscribe. Don't worry because I will be posting an in-depth video for Illuvium Overworld in the coming days here on YouTube, so subscribe if you haven't done that just yet. So you don't miss out on that, but in the meantime, my partner Hunter TV has posted a first look video on his Twitter which I will link in the description and please check that out. He's posted that first look video uh, and uh, don't worry because I will be posting an in-depth video dedicated for Illuvium Overworld in the coming days here on YouTube so subscribe to me if for some reason you haven't done that just yet. But in the meantime, my partner Hunter TV has posted a first look video on his Twitter which I will link in the description below and check out these opportunities related or not to Daurix Discord which is in the description as well below. So once again, this is Asian and I'll see you all on the other side.